Maybe it's evening where you are. Hi, I'm Kill the Bit, your host for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. And I'm back again with another special edition of Let's Play. This time, it's focused on the current DLC for Grand Theft Auto Online. It's called The Chop Shop, which was released on Tuesday. And I had gotten the download at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time about 20 minutes later. And it's the one where Yusuf Amir, you remember him from Grand Theft Auto 4 and the uh, episode of content itself called The Bout of Gay Tony? Well, he appears in GTA Online and he has got the proposition in which you get to buy a chop shop. You get to either sell the parts or you get to sell the car to Yusuf and get more money. So this is going to be gaming walkthrough episode two of the Chop Shop DLC. So grab a snack, grab a drink, grab whatever. It's the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. It's Let's Play GTA Online, the Chop Shop DLC. Here we go. I should also mention that there is the update that's usually on Thursdays, depending on what where you are, what part of the world you're in. So, mine is usually 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is like right now. So, we should have, I should have the update if you're on the East Coast of the United States, which is either, you know, like New York time. Well, that's the time for the DOC, I mean, the uh, weekly update happens so I'm looking forward to it so of course there's gonna be a new car and then there's gonna be what's available for the week especially with the business now for what I heard that the recent chop shop DLC how that works is that you're gonna get three cars to choose from but you're gonna they're only gonna appear for that one week after that, a new set of cars for me to acquire are going to appear. From what I heard. There's coffee. Well, to be honest, I'm actually excited about the DLC. Even the Rockstar Games could have done much better, but hey, it is what it is that Rockstar Games is Rockstar Games. So, I responded to the salvage yard. The salvage yard business, of course, in this case, the chop shop. But, of course, I'm going to go in a friends only lobby because I don't trust anyone here. And from what I've heard from YouTubers is that when you are doing the business, you're not going to get multiple, it, you're not going to get income based on how many players are in the lobby. So there's that. So this is one of my avatars. This is the female one. 
I have a male avatar, so which I'll buy the business for as well. But for the Savage Yard business, it's gonna roughly, it's gonna cost about close to six million GTA dollars to get up and running. We gotta make an adjustment here. So I'm gonna go two hours with this stream as usual. And I keep the voice chat off for lobbies because now with what Rockstar Games is Social Club, they are using AI to actually track people who may say certain words or phrases that they say go as against their code of conduct or community standards, just like any social media platform, you know. But then again, it's it's subjective. You don't really know what. Like, of course, if you talk about, obviously, you talk about certain things that are controversial topics, such as politics or anything, political affiliation, anything. Guess what? You can just get instantly kicked out without even your knowledge until the next time you log on to Rockstar Social Club. There's that. So, I, for the sake of this, I leave the voice chat off. Well, by the way, I have some issues with this controller. I'm gonna just make a quick adjustment. Stop this. The controller is actually wonky. Like it's got a mind of its own. This has got to stop. So, to recap, all right, we might be ready. In the previous stream, which was on Tuesday, on the, the debut of this stream, what's up? We were planning to rob this bravado gauntlet from the uh, Duggins, who appeared in the previous DLCs of the casino and the uh, Doomsday, uh, not Doomsday heist, the uh, casino heist, and as well as the uh, criminal enterprises. When I first had gotten Grand Theft Auto 5 in 2022. So, anyway, we're actually going to go on with the heist where we're going to pose as the entertainment or whatever it is What's to, good? to steal the uh, Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire, which the Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire in GTA is actually a you model, it's modeled after the Dodge Challenger from 2015 or whatever. Yeah, you know the car. When you see it, you know, hey, that's a Dodge Challenger. You know, they, they call it the Bravado Gauntlet. So anyway, hey, you go to this computer terminal, and the nature of the uh, heist planning board is actually blue light. It's blue lit with invisible marker in case that this gets raided. So anyway, the first thing you do is register, register yourself as a boss. And then I go to the planning wall, and we're about to go on with the robbery. I'm not sure if I need more than one person to do this, but then when it comes to my friends, don't know who's all available. So you end up doing this by yourself, or you can do with people or people in the public lobby. So there's some extra tasks. Let's see here. Already got the optional mask, already got the mask. 
So we're gonna get this additional stuff before we go with the robbery. And I have more than enough money to do it, so we're gonna first thing we're gonna acquire is the panic outfits. If it'll let me select. But this is the car we're about to take. So let me get back to the screen. So we got everything checked off. So let's see what do I do next. I haven't done the mission yet, but I don't want to do all the get all the things. Oh, we don't want to do this. It must be a mistake. So, snatching the Duggan's car right from under their noses during the halftime show, it's gonna be complex. I already did this. Can't do this. Let me call Yusuf Amir's cousin. So how do I launch the mission? I mean, I got everything. I never did the mention, it's telling me it's a replay. 
So this one's called the Duggan Rover. Hey boss, can you put in a good word for me with your mechanic? I feel like he thinks I'm an asshole. All cool? Mm -hmm. I guess we just go on with the Take robbery. It easy. Not sure. I guess we just go on with the robbery. We got everything. Unless Because we're supposed to steal the vehicle during the halftime show. It's like some kind of mistake. Something. See you on the flip side. So I gotta do the robbery task. That's probably what's on the board. And from what I heard from the gaming gorilla, he says that this location in La Puerta is not good for the business simply because of the fact that you can spawn a gang attack even when you are doing the Savage Yard chop shop missions for Yusa. Which is unfortunate, but at least I have a second avatar and then later I can actually switch locations. However, it's just it's a matter of, you know, it's all in a matter of showing up six million dollars again. So I guess I'd rather do that with the other avatar. My second player. So I need to grab a couple of things before I pull off the heist. Which is probably those things on the board. One is the, uh, the trailer for the Los Santos Panic, which is the fictitious basketball oh, game, uh, basketball team in Grand Theft Auto V. Where the Corkers is the baseball team and so are the Boers. But those are also the game colors of the Ballas and the Families. Where the colors are purple, the Ballas, and the uh, Families are green. As far as game colors are concerned, so I'm not ready to do do the heist yet. So we're just gonna wrap up these two preps. And just hope we're able to pull off the heist.
Now, it is known that if you sell the vehicle to Yusef, you're going to get more money. But if you decide to chop the parts of this vehicle, in this case the Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire, well, you're only going to get less money. So, why settle for less money when you get more money? Hey, okay. in here. I mean, it's a no brainer. Equipment required for the Duggan robbery. Duggan robbery is nearby. And this is called the Duggan robbery. So we're going to swipe some equipment. Which is probably going to be some uh, paraphernalia. Press to contact your mom. Begin stealing a LS pa panic trailer for the robbery. Here it so goes. I'm thinking we'll use one of the LS panic trucks to get into the stadium, since it won't look suspicious. Now, luckily, they keep a branded truck in this warehouse. Now, all you gotta do is steal it. Sounds like a plan. Let's steal it. It'd be like taking candy from a baby. Spot right behind you. What the fudge? Come on, get it out! What in the world do you think you're doing here? Burn. Build a burn. Let's use that new gun I got. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I might die in this second. By the way, I finally got the new gun that came with the DLC. Luckily, I had the uh, agency uh, armory. Otherwise, you had to get it from the uh, the gun van where the guy from Liberty City is from. Who is in separate locations every time. In discrete locations every time. Every GTA game day. I mean, every IRL game day. So far, I, I haven't fallen yet. And for a prep mission, you don't fail a prep mission unless you miss the time. But when you're doing the actual mission, you'll usually get about two tries. One try if it's just you. I mean, two tries if it's just you, and three tries if you're working with a crew to pull off the heist. So, it's only one, uh, two people. Bye bye. And this gun is good for ammo because it's got like 10,000 rounds. So you really don't need to ever need to replenish unless you want to because. And you can't even necessarily mod it for like MK2 modifications or nothing. So. Because when you do that, unfortunately, you limit the amount of ammo you can have. And when you run out of that ammo, you can't go into ammunition to restock it, to replenish it. So that's the obvious no drone map of owning MK2 modded weapons in GTA Online. Now we're gonna. Oh, wait, hold on. This is the trailer. Let's see if there's anything. Because I'm, like, I'm a person that's like no stone unturned, you know, making sure I don't miss anything. And then we're gonna steal some uniforms, and then we'll be ready. Yeah, looks like you're innocent, so... You get to live. Now we're gonna take the truck out of here. Must have a key. Oh yeah. Gotta find the keys. Oh yeah. What that? 
I didn't my shotgun ammo. I didn't top up my shotgun. Especially shotgun ammo, but that's sad. But I got other weapons, so. Well, you're just laying wrong. Now we gotta find the keys. You're ignorant. You know that. I'm out of armor. So the keys must be hidden in some part of the office. Or on somebody. Keys are usually in the office or on the wall. Oh, here they are. Just take them. Swipe. Now we're out of here. And then all you need to do is grab the uniforms. Because we're the halftime entertainment. We're posing as the halftime entertainment. That's perfect cover. Now we gotta get out of here. kind of like how these heist missions are heist prep missions are set up but first we gotta lose the, the funds that's an immaculate heist I mean heist prep Let's see if I can bribe the cops. Nope, I can't. Can't bribe the cops, so I'll probably, if I could, call Lester. Because they'll make the cops go away. It's only when you're doing certain missions in certain DLC you can't call up Lester. You can't call Lester uh, to bribe the cops and get them off your back. So. Uh, unfortunately, you can't use that feature, so we'll just That's use easy. the ball. There you go. That's unfortunate, so I just gotta lose the cops straight away. And I think they're that the NPCs are gonna suspect that something's not right because the trailer has bullet holes. But that's not gonna be an issue. Because the car will respawn all fixed and everything. I'm gonna have to take the high road. Make sure I don't lose the trailer though. I just love the NPC dialogue, the banter, most of it, especially if you cut them off, but you're driving erratically that you, or you would just hit their vehicle, flat out hit their vehicle, they're not going to like that. Oh great, get this thing out. Okay, I'm just gonna throw a sticky bomb on him. Boom, boom. It's a good surefire way of losing. Only two stars, too. Look at that. Take the high road. Go up on, on the mountains, they won't catch you. If it, were, if it was a three star wanted level, they'll send helicopters out here. But since it's just two stars, it's just. The run of the mill cop cars. Oh, now we gotta reconnect the trailer. Damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, great. I gotta fix the trailer. So much for that. We're gonna have to battle the cops. Good. At least the trailer respawned elsewhere. 
might just have to get out and just waste the cops. Just drive on the other side of the mountain. I'm coming up on the rough side of the mountain. Gospel him. Don't act like you don't remember that. I was losing these porkies. We go, piglet. All right, now we get the trailer and we get out of here. Finally got the cops off my back. Now we're gonna reconnect the trailer and then we're gonna park it in the destination thing. Destination to prepare for the heist. A dug in robbery. Um, by the way, I do my own thumbnails for my streams and for my YouTube features. Alright. Now we're going to drive to the destination. And I had to make sure I turn off the audio because licensed music, and even in the stream, you can get copyright strikes for that. And unfortunately, I found out that even in the DLC, the song A Rap Money by Buster Rhymes plays, which is Yusuf Amir's favorite song in game, plays like twice. In the introduction, and close to the part when he's about to take off in his car. And of course, he shows up in a compromising, awkward situation that he blames his net, his cousin. He puts the blame on his cousin. He's a hypocrite, but he's funny. But when they bring him back into the high definition of the GTA universe, you can tell he's aged, not good, and he still has that the Enos Diamond, aka the Rolls Royce, Golden Rolls Royce, that's a convertible from the Ballad of Gay Tony. He still has that car. And he's still playing the song Arab Money. Arab Money. And even his uh, cousin is just like ripping on the song. Which is the same where in real life, if you listen to some old music like that, music is considered a throwback. But then when they have because I guess he's a millennial or whatever it is, type person who doesn't get classic music, or at least to him. But Yusuf is kind of Yusuf still. He doesn't change unless he has to. So if you downloaded the DLC for GTA Online, what do you think of it? Type in the chats. I like to hear whatever it's on replay or if it's live, like right now. What do you feel about the DLC? I like it so far, in all honesty. The next one that ought to be a cinch. I do like how they, like I said, I like how they designed the heist and the heist prep missions. Because they're kind of uh, wacky. Like, oh, we're going to be posing as the halftime entertainment. <laughs> just to steal, just to heist. In this case, steal a car. And not just any vehicle.
care and stash the panic drug. During the robbery, you will collect the LS panic truck from the location and take it to the Maze Brink Arena, which of course is in real life the Staples Center. And I've been to the Staples Center when I've been to Los Angeles once, back in 2002. That of course was for the E3, the Electronic Entertainment Expo. But I heard E3 is going away, or the popularity is all over and done. Because it's like the it's the trade show event for upcoming games and technology, just like the Consumer Electronics Show is in Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, and also check on my nightclub. Now I got the last task. I should be getting a call back from. Uh, Jamal Amir. I was about to say Yusuf, but it's Jamal. Because Jamal works for me. I... Okay, I'll make sure the truck's in position when we're ready to roll. Alright. Let me fix this. And I'd like to say, if you are enjoying the stream, if you like the content that I'm bringing you, Please do me a solid and subscribe to the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel for more Let's Play classics and more gaming walkthroughs with, such as GTA Online, Breath of All 5, Mad Max, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which I'm also playing. And if you feel like and if you care to contribute to my channel, I do have a Patreon listed in the description. Contribute if you like. I just need to make some adjustments here. Hoping this does anything. Oh, there's a slight stuttering about. 12% CPU issues. So, now, I want to see if I can find the gun van. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna actually going to take a break in the pepping of the heist, and I'm actually going to go spawn at, my ca at the casino and spin the wheel. So, with the recent update in GTA and GTA Online, when I pull up the menu, the selections menu, and preferences where you need to respond that's where you need to go maybe I'll do a video walk through on, on about that you know when it comes to short form you know hero content such as this even for gaming I'll probably do something like this where I'll give you a walkthrough with it with the new update and how to properly navigate it navigate through it so first I'm gonna stop at the uh, Casino to spin the wheel because I got the casino penthouse. You know, you're bowing when you have a penthouse. So, I'm also playing the storyline of Grand Theft Auto 5, which I'll stream on YouTube and Twitch as well. There's a new car. I fucking had one. 
Ready for some real excitement? Bet on the ponies at the Inside Track, the premier horse racing lounge at the Diamond Casino and Resort. I sometimes think this moves. Yeah, looks like what we get in the car today. Yeah. Ten thousand dollars worth of chips, though. But you can use that to get yourself something nice. I can use the chips to get something nice. Wings? After all that gas you had last night? And you know they'll only cover them in spice. Ah, you're you're probably right. So, anything? Earrings are cool. Champagne. If I get that like that whiskey shot, my character's gonna black out. Stoner in the yellow. empty out the same. Once I reach 245000 or 250000 GTA dollars, I empty the same. Now, the salvage yard does have a safe as well. Now, the reason why you're getting a little money here and there is because you're not doing the uh, tow truck missions of picking up cars and bringing them here because your safe can cap out to 250000 But when you do a lot of, I think if you do 10 truck, you know, tow truck Chop shop jobs, you get fifty thousand. You get fifty thousand every forty eight minutes. So you just keep doing them, and then because I guess it's involved income that's also passive. Whereas the nightclub, all you have to do is you don't even have to do promotions. When you can just switch out the DJs and you just got to keep the popularity up, and that way you get fifty thousand dollar days. And then once your safe reaches a max cap of $250,000, that's when you can withdraw it and bank it. I like whenever I'm using the terminal, I'm on the basement level one or whatever, and not the nightclub. Because if you access the terminal to run the operation of the nightclub, when you even switch out the DJ, it will go to the cutscene, which the previous DJ will leave the stage. Will leave the booth and then the substitute DJ will take his or her place. So if you do it here, the DJ, you don't get the cutscene of either the Blessed Madonna, Dixon, Tale of Us, or Solomon. 
the cutscene in which the, those DJs take the helm of the booth. So, when your popularity goes down, you'll get a call from Tony. Now, you could promote the club, but I don't. Instead, I just get the uh, sub out the DJ. And it's going to bring it back up to 50,000. In this case, it switched to Dixon. But then again, you can't even hear it because I turn off the music. Anyway. So, so, so far, you get $300 every GTA day, which is 50 minutes, 48 minutes. IRL. Now, I need to switch out uh, the warehouse script because the pharmaceutical research, which AKA is the blue stuff, I need to switch that the person to switch the tech to sporting goods. And print and copy is full as well. this one person to uh, sporting goods and so far with the warehouse I'm at 972,000 I'm waiting till I, if I get over a million and understand is that Tony will take 10% to launder but he takes no more than a hundred thousand dollars so if you have a million dollars worth of goods that you sell even in a private lobby all by yourself, Tony's still going to get the $100,000, but if you sell way over, let's say, $1.1 million or more, Tony's cut still remains the same, but in this case, it's still going to be $100,000. It's not going to go up, necessarily. Now, you could do the special orders, which this one is only $73,000 of what you're getting, of what pay for it, but now I do a full sale. So anyway, and you look here, my nightclub earnings are 32,999,500, whereas the warehouse earnings are only 12 million and change. So let me just get out of this, and I always say that what you're not doing CEO or motorcycle club uh, work, you want to disband or resign from those because you're going to end up spawning an event which requires you to defend your business. Otherwise, you'll lose your business and have to restart everything. So, I prevent that as much as possible. Now, unless I know where the gun van is, oh yeah, I can sell to the street dealer. Now, unless I know where the gun van is, I'm gonna have to go back to the agency. I'll spawn back to the agency and tack up. And I also may have to go to the arcade on my own to uh, re-up the products. That's under appearance, but you go under preferences where you decide where you're gonna respawn. So back to the uh, agency. But after I do the sale. And if you need to replenish your ammo, this doesn't work when it comes to body armor. You can replenish your ammo without having to go into ammunition. Now, when it comes to the MK2 ammunition, hey, what took you can so only replenish at the agency or in your uh, MOC or your uh, what do you call it? If I have the you got it all wrong. Your uh, no way. Avenger. Later. So I'm gonna go into my car. When I drive to the deep, make a quick run. Long time no see you. Just like the street dealer, the 
gun fan is gonna spawn each day in real life. It's gonna be spawned in designated locations. Usually they're, they're discreet. So this person is right behind. I can really use a vacation. You don't even remember. You bet. You. Yep. It's a member of the cartel. So let's sell. But don't tell me I'm stuck. It's a glitch. screen here and I have to piece them together, upload them separately. Because that's what happened in the previous screen. I had an issue where the internet actually had cut off. I got disconnected. So we're in the first hour of the stream. Like I said, I'm only going for two hours. And I should have turned off the TV. Okay, good. Because I can get like a content ID copyright issue. But even with the fame or shame, and that's unfortunate. It came with the game, okay? It's not a real show. Imagine getting copyright, uh, if you were to get a copyright strike which I didn't, but yet I got a, not a copyright notice, because a copyright notice is different from a copyright strike. A copyright strike is serious, it's bad, but a copyright notice is not, because initially you just get a notice. But it won't count against you. Hey. So what you looking for? Everything, man. More importantly, the MK2 upgrades. Take your time. And when you upgrade these weapons, you can you can revert, but I choose to upgrade. These shoot incendiary rounds. And they'll say MK2 right by it. Rifle. We got machine guns, which I was in. Rifles. The new rifle is the battle rifle. But it's the shotgun I need to replenish. The shotgun ammo. So I got explosive rounds. So with the uh, battle rifle, you can change the tint. Yeah, I keep mine gold. And on hey, the use of the Shotgun, that's what I need to do. There we need go. Any more? And the specialty ammo can only only has a certain bullet, you know, capacity because they're special made. Uh, the combat shotty. I don't use the suppressor with this one. I need the suppressor off. I usually I just replenish munitions such as these and the major weapons that I use and then just get armor. And I like when you can use the buy all feature. I'll be here if you need anything. Was there a parachute? I need a parachute. Just in case I had to get off of something, if I jump out of something, I need to at least have a parachute. Otherwise, I'm gonna go splat. That would be good. I 
All right, let's talk. Just here for the armor. But if you locate the gun van, and usually I'll go on YouTube to locate the gun van, where the gun van's going to be. Otherwise, you can just get in a helicopter and drive all over LS and Blaine County. That way you can track down the gun van, as well as the uh, stash houses and the uh, dealers, the street dealers. All right, that's it. Keep your eyes open. Sup? Hey, there's Amani. And some of the new vehicles are Amani Tech enabled, meaning that if you take it to Amani Tech, or if you take it to a specialty uh, command center or whatever, in this case, the MOC or the Avenger, the hull of the Avenger, you can actually get the Amani Tech there as well. It's, you don't have to be in your agency's garage Everything to, get okay? the, to get the Amani Tech. Stay safe, boss. Now, let me see where I'm gonna spawn next. So, of course, I'm gonna spawn back at the uh, salvage yard, but. Since I'm already out and about, I just need to pick up the uniforms. Exit to the ground. And they introduced jet races as part of the new DLC. So certain cars, you can participate in drift races so you can drift the cars. For those who are not familiar with street racing and drifting, drifting is when you make those turns and you, you rotate the car enough so that it can actually, people make a, you make a game out of the drifting. I mean, like it's, like it's a cool thing just as burning, doing burnouts on Burning, like burning out a vehicle, but it's only like in a race that you drift. Where you just, where you kind of do like a half turn around a sharp corner. I think that's what drip, that's drifting in a nutshell. Now let's go do the last prep. And it's oh, what do you what do you know? It's there. So let's just get in the car. Because the last hour is going to be dedicated to pulling this high stone okay. and getting this car sold to Houston. No that's the uh, for now. That's what I should say. The uh, well, you know the hallmark of this stream, the main thing, the main event. Park your seat and taste our meat. <laughs> Double on time. Jim. So next week, Rockstar Games is gonna drip feed some new vehicles, maybe a new weapon, hopefully. Kinda didn't see much of any new clothes. There's a boss. Hello. Hi, honey. Let's 
say about you, sir. What are you talking about? I am a Hey, we're gonna need to blend in at the arena, so let's try to look like fans. I think Suburban carries a lot of LS panic. Oh, yeah. Duh. It makes perfect sense. You don't have to go rob and steal some uniforms like you would do to, uh, like with the uh, pest control as a cover with the bug stars. Stay, stay. Here, this is where we go. Let's go look for the I'll editor. be here if you really need me. Yeah, look at it. The employee doesn't want to be here. It's hard to stay motivated in this recession. Let's look for the outfits. I'll be back in. You're anorexic. This must have some glitches. probably someone who should be fired. Okay, there we go. Deliver outfits to sell it. Stole it. Oh, I just stole apparel. I wonder why I didn't pay for it. So this makes it exciting. Then again, I was wrong thinking that, you know, you just get some apparel and you buy the apparel. No, you steal it. You lift it. This must be the official license apparel that they didn't put out yet. Well, it's mine now. Maybe I'll go find the dealer. But first, let's go stash this gun. Stash the gear. Panic gear. Oh shit, they found And the new cop cars that's part of the Ford Stock Cash and Carry. They're the model that they're the Ford Crown Victoria. It's called the Stainer LA. LA Ellie Cruiser or, or the Cruiser. So you're probably gonna use that to imitate the cops. Hopefully it's gonna be used and used for the heist. But it actually has a computer, hopefully it's interactive. Because in Grand Theft Auto 4, you would use a police computer so that you can track down some bounty, bounty hunts for extra money. And when it comes to the Nicobelic story, 
And the voice of Nico Bellic is a musician named Michael Hollick and an actor. But ever since Grand Theft Auto 4, I'm not sure if he's, if he's still trending. I think I had heard his music and back during the days of MySpace. He was on MySpace. And he's everywhere. He beat people's MySpace friends. And if you're like a public figure such as that, you know, you're obviously, it's not some somebody you would hire that accepts friends requests on the behalf of the public figure. It's them themselves. Now I'm going to stash the outfits. So I have everything I need to pull up the heist. Something? You know what? Before I pull off the heist, I'm gonna do some tow truck work. So this is where you spawn in the bed. There's a TV. <laughs> What's up? Oof! All good. Ow! I think I'm gonna do some tow truck work. But you're actually going to be stealing some cars. Now let's respray it. Okay, that's just a basic color. Can you. What else can you do? So you just change the color and that's it, huh? So we're going to do some tow truck service as well. for some almost legit work. I have details of a broken down car we can go repossess. Sending you the location now. Just hook it to the tow, and then you can bring it to the salvage yard for parts. If the owner's there, I'd avoid them, because they're gonna be pissed. And if you see the cops, floor it. Because we don't actually have a license. I mean, I said, almost legit. <laughs> we gotta recover the ball. So we're doing some illegal repos. Kind of like what Franklin was doing in the story mode of GTA 5. But this time you get to do it. And, un and like JB's tow truck. His is legit. Mine is not. So it's an illegal so it's an illegal chop shop for sure. That does look the part, but it is illegal. How the heck do I get out of here? Okay. I wonder if it's okay if I drop the people who get angry at the cars that I repo. So it's a chop shop and repo bracket. So it does bring some excitement as opposed to the cab mission. I mean, the taxi cab business. Dude, for real? 
which there's nothing interesting about it. It's just boring. It's RP type stuff. So this is somewhat of a faraway location, but we hook it and we floor it. So I'm just going to do one repo and then I'm going to start the heist. So if any copyright music, copyrighted music, licensed music is playing, I'm going to just have it, have it muted. Remove the mutes out of the dialogue. There is a beta feature. There's actually a beta feature. Are you challenging my now? No, I'm not, Renica. Mr. Renica, I'm not challenging your authority. What authority, Mr. Renica? You belong in the food court, mister. Or at least a shopping mall. Yeah, so this is a reasonable distance, so I'm just gonna do this repo and then start the mission, start the heist. cars are going to get boosted for parts. You're not going to be able to sell them just the parts. So we'll clip it. We'll clip it and we get out of here. let we'll do it so the owner don't know about it until it's too late. This is like what Lester would say, drive-by stealing. We just want the parts. You haven't paid the notes, sucker. We're taking your shit. I would expect the police to be notified and they will be coming after me. Work like this out of my necessary doing, especially knowing the fact that it's illegal in game. Similar to, like I said, Franklin and Lamar's, you know, job working for Simeon Yateria. Off to the chop shop. By the way, that sounds like a good idea for a restaurant. A restaurant that's bottled, supposed to look like, has like a theme restaurant, kind of similar to that of medieval times, only it looks like an auto yard, you're eating at an auto yard, and they serve, knock on wood, pork chops, order houses, you name it. I know there's something like the Chop House, which is an, an actual restaurant, but then like a chop shop. And to make it look like it's really like it's supposed to be like grease everywhere, but it's only paint to make it look like a grease spot. All right, bring the card in. We'll salvage the parts and get paid in no time. 
Yeah, it's not even you. I mean, you don't. I mean, you can damage the cars you like. It's just the parts they want you want to sell. Not so much as you know the car itself. Like we're gonna be doing for the Duggan robbery. Of all people, rob the Duggins. Okay, what we gotta do is drop it in the spot. Okay, there we go. Bringing it in. That's an immaculate repo. No cops, no angry owner. Hi. See you around. Okay. Now we're gonna right. do the real we just gotta strip this bad boy and then the money is all ours. I mean yours. Yeah, get it straight. Yep, see, look at it. The strip is already the being done. Side. Look at it. Hey, how you doing? We're gonna strip this baby, aren't we? Yeah. Regularly recovering vehicles through the toll service increases the money. As opposed to the little three hundred dollars I get. Now I'm at nine hundred. Look at it. Going to work. Everything good? Yep. Why did they just get right on the stripping? So if you steal another, I guess you steal another one. So that tech is waiting for hey. some work. So you get him another car. You steal another one. The money come rolling in. Now we're just gonna go with the real deal. The meat and potatoes What's of this good? DLC. And of course, I'm referring to is the heist. Hopefully, I get to recruit somebody. To the planning wall. We're about to do it. I'm gonna do it until we get it. No matter how many times we fail it. We'll this is straight. it! Arena War! <laughs> Man, turns out the only thing that gets me more hype than Arena War is stealing a priceless car from Arena War! <laughs> yeah, we got everything. So all we gotta do is pull it off. How do I pull out the heist? Launch mission, here we go. This is it. We gotta pick up the truck. So I can do this. I can. So you can likely do this by yourself. I can do this by myself, which I'll have to look for people and look through the Discord to see if I can have someone to help me. Man, I know this car, and I know the Duggins couldn't appreciate the work of art like that if it was reversed up their asses. This is a freaking rescue operation, seriously. Yeah, we're still in for Yusuf Amir. We're getting paid to hear that money. It's heist day.
in real life driving like this would draw attention to the police. Okay, that truck and the outfit should get you into the stadium. But get that VIP pass ready to get up to the private box. Just walk in there like you're ready to see a lot of shit blow up. And it should all just go fine. <laughs> Get out the way, dumb shit. Heist crimes are wasted. Yep, we just park it right in the spot. Hey, que pasa? Just up there. Home of the panic. Just have your pass out and ready. I have to press a button to show the pass. So we're at the last 30 minutes of this stream. Home stretch. Now once you get to that box, get your weapons out. They are not gonna let you get anywhere near that car. We got a man down! We got a man down! Everybody's getting it. Everybody getting it. Take cover. Go get fucked. Yeah. quarter. <laughs> Everybody getting it. Stay broke. Everybody getting grease. Everybody's getting grease. Screw you. The grease in this whole area. Oh, there you go. 
kill that head. You get a curbside, you get a box. Sweet. To your own funeral, sucker. Okay, let's use it. Use a scope. Hope it's not in the race. Oh wait. Is that it? Where is that car? This probably gives you an idea what the drip races are going to look like. Where is that car? Oh, okay. It's down here. What's that? It's parked somewhere. Oh, and just use all the scopes, I guess. Oh yeah, so we probably got to use all the scopes. It's way find it. Does it look through a telescope? Not a specific one. Look through all of them. It's way find it. Let's try the one on the end.
Oh, we found it. So what? Shows up.
gonna split this in two parts. Come the papa. Yes, I'll extend it. 